Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jake the Fate, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a pickup shootout for metal guitar players. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing a pickup shootout. Over here, I have my handy dandy box of guitar pickups that to me, it's like my personal treasure chest because I can't live without these pickups. So in this box, I have a few Seymour Duncans, EMGs, some custom shops. You know, these are my personal favorite pickups for metal guitar players. It doesn't have to be just metal guitar players, but I'm a metal guitar player and I know most of the guys that watch my stuff are metal guitar players. And I'm gonna be using two guitars for the demo section. One's gonna be for passive and then the other one's gonna be for the active pickups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys to the workbench and I'm gonna show you guys the pickups that I have and I'm gonna lay them out. So I'm gonna be doing one riff back to back to hear the difference between the pickups in a mix and also isolated to hear what the difference is. All right, so for the active pickups, I'm gonna be using my Jackson Soloist Desert Sand just because I already have the quick connect into this guitar. So it's a lot easier for me just to install these boom, one, two, three. And for my passive pickups, I'm gonna be using my Kramer Breda Special which I pretty much just decked out. It's a regular Kramer Breda special that I routed out for a Floyd Rose and I put Nicole's face on it <laughs> a while ago. I get asked a lot about this guitar. So uh, if you guys want to see a review and demo on this guitar, maybe I can do one. I did a little one on my Instagram. And also I got a comment on how I actually put this uh, vinyl. I don't know if it's a decal or a sticker or what it is, but uh, you guys asked me of how I did this. I might get around to it. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be doing this on this guitar because it's a lot easier for me just to remove the springs in the back, take off the Floyd, install the pickup, solder it, boom, put it in, one, two, three. I'm also going to have the same pickup height and I actually measured it all out on both guitars, on every pickup. I already have it measured out on this little measuring thing that I got from like the Ernie Ball tool guitar tech thingy, whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to, you know, everything's going to be the same. I'm going to be running this into my Boss Katana 50 into my 5150 overdrive straight into the interface and i'm also going to be in drop d tuning I'm, I'm usually in drop c but for this one i'm just going to do drop d and yeah so without further ado let's go to the workbench all right so here i have some of my favorite pickups of all time and some of these i actually have like two or three of like obviously the emg 81 set i have probably like a good four sets of these on a few different guitars like the Dime Bucker, I have like three of these just because that is probably like my favorite bridge pickup. Anyway, so what I have here, I have the Black Winter, Seymour Duncan Black Winter. One of my favorite guitar pickups. Awesome, awesome pickup. This is the Gus G uh, bridge pickup. I actually have the set, but with this one, this one actually comes with this Blackout preamp. But I'm not going to be using this on this demo, so I'm just going to do it straight into the guitar. This one is a duncan solar uh bridge pickup which i took out from one of the solar guitars that i got a while back so which i swapped it out but i'm gonna show you guys how this one sounds it's a pretty good pickup uh, i think it's an el nico five or an eight he said wrong the regular duncan solar that we had is an el nico five pickup uh medium to high output pickup and it's just a really good choice for a pickup if you just want something that fits you know a lot of different genres but i forgot which one it is exactly so this one's the seymour duncan sh6 which is basically just the uh distortion mayhem bridge pickup this one is the sh4 which is the jb model so over here i have the classic seymour duncan invader which is honestly, I love every single one of these pickups. I can talk about each one of these as much as the other. This one over here is the Seymour Duncan Pegasus. Again, one of my favorite bridge pickups. Of course, I got the Seymour Duncan Dime Bucker right there. This one over here is actually a Eddie Van Halen. I put this one in, I forgot which Van Halen guitar that I put this one in, but I just took it out and I swapped it out for a different one. But this one came out of a Wolfgang uh evh guitar it's a pretty good pickup though and this one over here is a tv4 which basically is the same thing as the sh4 but just for the trumbucker so i'm not going to do a comparison because they're the same obviously as you guys can see right there there's a difference with the uh with the spacing because this is for a, a trim system and this one's not 
which is why Eddie Van Halen slanted his pickups. So those are basically the same. Over here, this one's pretty special. This one over here is a Seymour Duncan custom shop that MJ made for me probably, I would say, in 2020, around there. So it's around three years old. It actually didn't look like this. This one aged pretty damn cool. And it's the hottest pickup that I have. It's around like 18K ohms. And there's like three ceramic bar magnets in there. It's overwound. It's freaking awesome. Love this one. I call this one the JTF Seymour Duncan. <laughs> Anyways, over here, of course, I have the Sinister Gates bridge pickup. This one is a Schecter Custom Shop. So these, these are actually all hand wound. The Schecter Custom Shop pickups, they're all hand wound. I actually got a few sets of these. Over here, I got the black one. This one's black. This one's the chrome, but this one's actually, I gave this one to one of my friends. So Jonathan, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I have to give this back to you, but, um, I'm trying to get the gold one to put on my gold burst, but I'm trying to get that one because that one has the invader, uh, gold one. I did a review and demo on that guitar. So here, this is my EMG. J.H. Bridge. So this one's uh, James Hetfield's. This honestly is one of my favorite EMG pickups. Aside from the obviously the famous EMG 81. But this one's obviously Zach Wilde's. What the fuck is that? Who's tapping? Hello? Who's there? Satan. That's what I thought. Anyways. And over here, I have the Retroactive 77, Super 77. I have the the Jim Root set, and I also, I forgot what other sets I have, but I, I don't want to take those from off my guitars, which I know I should, you know, to give EMG <laughs> a proper lineup because there's so many Seymour Duncans, because I love Seymour Duncans. And I actually want to get the Kirk Hammett uh, EMG, his Bone Breakers, but... Uh, every single time I'm telling you, like I keep forgetting to order pickups. There's actually another brand that I want to try called Fu Tones. So if you guys are interested in that, I might do a few pickup reviews from that brand. Anyways, so this is what I have here now, and plus this is basically like the starter pack <laughs> for metal guitar players. Not all of these, but some of these, like obviously the Pegasus, the Black Winter, the Invaders, the EMGs. But anyway, so of course I'm only going to be doing the bridge pickup. I'm not going to do the set because it just doesn't make any sense. And I'm only going to be doing one riff with each one of these. And I'm going to show you guys how that sounds in a mix. And then I'm going to show you guys that same exact riff isolated to see what they sound, you know, isolated. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs>
All right, so there it is, my top humbucker pickups for metal guitar players. I know you guys are probably thinking, where are the DiMarzios? And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I've tried a few DiMarzio pickups. I've tried them and it's just not for me, you know? Like, I know a lot of people swear by them, but me personally, I've tried them and I just, they're just not for me. I'm more of a Seymour Duncan and EMG kind of guy just because, you know, it, it does sound like a gimmick, like, oh yeah, they're like top brands, but you know, they are, <laughs> you know, they're, they're freaking awesome. So what are my final thoughts on the pickups individually? For a non-guitar player, you're not going to really hear the difference at all. Like I showed Nicole and she thought I was just playing the same riff in a loop the whole entire time. She really didn't hear a difference. So, but for me personally, or maybe you guys, because that's how we are. You know, we try to like nitpick and like find what sounds good. You're going to hear the difference between obviously an EMG compared to a Seymour Duncan you know, an active and a passive, you know, it's clear as day. When you hear an EMG 81, you already know that's an EMG 81. There's a little bit of a difference between the EMG 81 and the James Hetfield pickup, where it sounds a little bit more organic. With the 81, you already know it sounds a little bit compressed because it's obviously, it's, you know, there's a preamp in it. You know, and with the retroactive, the Super 77, and with the Super 77, this one honestly is pretty cool because it's supposed to like emulate a regular passive pickup with the preamp on it. I've played these pickups, but never back to back to actually hear them. You know, the difference between them. I was pretty surprised because they had a lot of mid to low range. You know, usually with EMGs, they're very like mid range and like very compressed and like very uh, yeah, just compressed. But with this one, you know, honestly, it's really awesome. Now with the Seymour Duncans, I do have a lot of them. So it's going to be, you know, pretty hard and annoying just to like go through all those and tell you guys individually with the pegasus it's a little bit mid to low range you know same thing with the invader a lot of people say that it does have a lot of like low range to it it can sometimes and again i'm only doing this so you guys can hear it and you know pick which one's going to be right for you because a lot of people ask me you know what's a good pickup for you know playing this kind of style or playing this kind of you know genre or whatever Personally, me, I'm always, you know, obviously into like heavy metal, but you know, you can dial this back, you know, dial back the distortion and it won't sound too bad. Obviously with the invaders and like the Pegasus and the, you know, distortion mayhem, it's going to be overdriven because they're, you know, high output. So if you try to play clean with it, it's going to be distorted. So they're meant for metal guitar players. But yeah, that's the whole point of me doing this. So you guys can like experiment and like try different pickups. You try something and it sounds good to this person, it might not sound good to you, or it might sound good to you and not to them. It's all personal preference. So, you know, personally me, I love trying any any kind of pickups. You know, like I've bought in, you know, those cheap Amazon pickups just to see what they sound like, you know. Somebody did say you can't compare the that invader, the last video that I did, the the red invader to a Seymour Duncan invader because it's night and day and you can hear the difference. If you guys are in a budget you know, you guys can go for that. But again, this is all personal preference for you guys to go out and, you know, try different pickups and see which one's best for you. So I hope you guys find this video useful and helpful in any way, shape or form. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because this is all I do on this channel. Guitar reviews, guitar builds, wiring stuff, anything guitar related. That's all I do and I love it with a passion. So with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love my EMGs, man. I love my EMGs. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze.